Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Back a lot calmer. I got my little, I maintain my cool. I'm good now. Listen, a lot of what I talk about when it comes to the name of Jesus, we don't realize the power that's packed. You talk about a power packed name. Let me tell you why. Now, I'm just going to talk from experience right now. Number one, one day I was walking down the street and during mating season of all times, and I have experienced in my unsaved years when I was cussing like a sailor, that all the cussing, all the yelling and screaming, all the kicking and pocketbook hitting was not going to stop these dogs from nipping and biting and scratching at me. Well, one day after I was saved, the same scenario started to unfold. And I got swooped on from all sides, front, back, side, everywhere. And these dogs just came out of nowhere, just ready to attack, barking like crazy. And I hollered, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I hollered out of fear. But the name of Jesus had power whether I was afraid or not. And guess what? Those dogs stopped like, huh, what was I getting ready to do? Oh, well. I mean, it was the most bizarre thing because as I walked past them, they almost acted like they weren't even aware any longer that I was right there in their midst. I felt like if, if I didn't know any better, I would wonder if I had disappeared in their eyes. That was just how bizarre. It was like, what's that? <laughs> you know, and none of them looked at me after that. They were all just kind of lost and, and stunned. It's really weird. Okay, another time, a pit bull charged me in the middle of the night. I was headed to my friend's house. She lived in the back house. And the front house, her front neighbor, had a dog. And it was after church. It was about 7 or 8 at night. And this dog <clears throat> was not on the chain. So I was hopefully assuming the dog was in the house. Pit bull. Did I say pit bull? Yeah. So here I am tip tipping. I'm a little nervous now. I'm a little skittish, but I'm tipping. And I all of a sudden hear feet charging. You can hear it on the cement. Just racing. And I'm like, oh, in my mind, I'm saying, oh, crap. But out of my mouth came, I bind you in the name of Jesus. It was finally, oh, there he is. And he's skidding. He dug his nails. In the middle of that charge, he dug his nails into the cement. And he's skidding, scratching the cement, trying to stop from all the momentum. He stopped right in front of me, sat his rear end down on the cement, till his owner, who heard my big mouth, opened the door to hear what the commotion was about and called his dog inside. The dog never touched me. He was sitting there like he was waiting for his next command. The name of Jesus is powerful. Listen, there have been times when I was getting ready to bust up in a rage. And you know how we can go off when we want to go off. I wanted to go off. But I didn't want to go against God's ways, even though I really wanted to go off. So you know what I did? I said, oh God, you know how ticked I am. You know how I'm ready to get off into somebody's butt. So I'm asking you, take the anger away before I show my behind. Please. Please, I need your help. All of a sudden, I felt, emotionally, I felt. <whistles> Where did that anger go? I don't feel it anymore. Where did it go? That was bizarre.
things are. That blew my mind. When I talk about the power of the name of Jesus, and I can recollect to you the nights when demons have attacked me. People talk about sleep paralysis all the time. I didn't know what it was. All I knew was a demon pounced on me. And I couldn't move. And I'm fighting and fighting because I'm feeling like he's going to really hurt me. He's got me pinned down on my shoulders, pinned down on my, on my knees. He pinned me down. I couldn't move. I felt like I was glued with, with super glue on that bed. I could not move. And the more I struggled, the weaker I got. I'm going to make this quick. Then I'm going to go get my broccoli before it burns. The weaker I got, I got so weak, I could not say anything. Now, I was a baby Christian, brand new. Didn't know the power of Jesus' name. This was my first time learning to use his name as a weapon. I didn't know it could be used as a weapon. Some of you don't know it can be used as a weapon of self-defense. Sure enough, I'm laying there crying, saying, well, he's got me. I guess I'm going to die like this. And I heard a quiet voice, as the Bible would call it, a, a small, still voice. And it said this, you have Jesus. Because I'm thinking in my mind, I wish I had a gun. I don't have a knife. I don't have... But the voice said, you have Jesus. And I'm like, that's all I have. I, don't, I need a weapon. And after I, after I laid there a few seconds and thought about what that voice said, I said, okay, let me try what they do at church. My first time after I was delivered from cigarettes, that was my first. This is my second. I said, and now I was, I sounded like a stroke victim. Remember, I was so weak I couldn't talk. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Tears running down. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Every time I said it, strength came, strength came, strength came. Till I got to the point where I sat up and I felt his weight. And I shoved him off and I said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Screamed it at the top of my lungs. Boom, he was gone. God taught me a lesson that day. Never had to take that course again. I asked God from that day on, and you should do the same. From now on, when the name of Jesus will make all the difference, make it be the first thing that comes out of my mouth before I think to say anything else. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Now that you've learned some ways to use the name of Jesus.